Hello, you fine internet folks. We're here in Taipei, where NVIDIA has just closed out their keynote for Computex 2025. With them covering some... News. Let's put it that way. News. So, starting out with their first announcement of the RTX Pro servers, this is a new twist on a really old idea, actually. Um, the 4U 8GPU server has been around over a decade. Um, we've seen 8GPU servers since the grid era, back in the Kepler days. So, that tells you how long we've had 8GPU servers. However, the new twist here is that NVIDIA is now connecting those 8 GPUs to your CPU with 4 Connect X8 NICs. Which NVIDIA is saying is a switch first and a NIC second. I would argue it's really more a NIC first and a switch second, but bygones be bygones there. Um, what that lets NVIDIA do is remove the PLX switch. So they don't need to go to Broadcom or Microchip to go buy a separate switch chip, whereas now they can just use their four ConnectX 8 NICs to not only connect those eight GPUs to the CPU, but also allow that system 3.2 terabits per second of network bandwidth out to to uh, other to the top of rack switch or to other switches in general um that's 400 gigabits unidirectional 800 gigabits bi-directional of network bandwidth um it's an interesting twist but not a fundamentally new concept they have been doing this with dgx's for quite a while now so i believe ever since uh dgx2 with a100s if i remember correctly the second announcement that NVIDIA has made is NVLink Fusion, which feels like a reactionary move because of the traction that UA Link has gotten as of late. Now, what you what NVLink Fusion is, is essentially NVLink on a chiplet. Uh, this allows um, someone like Fujitsu to integrate a NVLink into their CPUs for connections out to uh, GPUs and other NVIDIA switches. And that's the key thing here. NVIDIA switches. This is a vendor locking, essentially. If you need to use NVLink, you only have one switch option, unfortunately. And that's NVIDIA. Um, you don't get to necessarily go to Cisco or Rista or any of the other uh, network vendors for your for your switches, you kind of are stuck with NVIDIA here. And I mentioned Fujitsu at the top here because Fujitsu Monica, their next generation uh, CPU for the data center, will have NVLink on board. This is a replacement for the Tofu D interconnect that was found on their prior generation a64FX CPU that was designed for HPC. Monica is more for the data center. But it also means that if you buy a Monica, in order to likely get the best performance out of it, you're going to have to buy an NVIDIA switch. So this... Um, I don't quite know how to feel about this, honestly. Um, your thoughts, I guess, in the comments about this? Uh, it will also be interesting to see if anyone else adopts this. Qualcomm did mention something. Uh, Qualcomm was in the announcement, but uh, they haven't said much other than they are creating data center CPUs now. Um, that was in their announcement last week with the uh, Saudis uh, or in Saudi Arabia and the next announcement from NVIDIA was a supercomputer that's being built here in Taiwan with approximately 2,000 GPUs um, of the Hopper Blackwell 
and Blackwell Ultra. So that's uh, B300 uh, varieties. Um, some more information is probably going to be coming later, but there is that's sort of the supercomputing slash HPC news for uh, NVIDIA this at this Computex. And the final announcement of note here at Computex from NVIDIA was the building of a new headquarters slash office building. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Here in Taiwan, co codenamed Constellation. Um, Jensen asked the audience to contact local officials in the city where they're planning on building the new Constellation building uh, to s express their support for the building. Um, this felt very odd, and I'll just leave it there, and you can have your own thoughts about it. Um, interestingly enough, what wasn't mentioned in all of this was anything client-related. We were expecting, according to the almighty rumor mill, that we were going to have announcements of new client SOCs from NVIDIA, named, codenamed the N1 and N1X. That did not occur, um, which is interesting in that that didn't happen. We were all expecting it. We've been hearing a lot of rumors about it, but nothing was said. So that was kind of a disappointment, and hopefully we do hear more about it later in the year. So if you're looking forward to client stuff, hopefully we'll hear some news later in the year. Wrapping up the uh, NVIDIA keynote and sort of the headline notes, we have a twist on an old concept, a new supercomputer, a sort of a reminder of an old supercomputer that IBM probably has some words about and a lack of AI ordering tacos, which really disappointed some people. Anyway, I'm George Kozma from Chips and Cheese. You all know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that jazz. It does help with the algorithm gods. Check out the links in the description below. That's the website, the Patreon, the PayPal, and all of the links to social media such as Twitter, Blue Sky, Mastodon, etc. Thank you all for watching and have a good one.